it is estimated that Uganda had over 1.3 million hectares of natural forest cover since the colonial times, but there have been forest reductions every year at a rate of 2.1 percent that is equivalent to 86,000 hectares. Out of the 79,000 hectares are lost on private land while 7,000 on forest reserves. So some pessimists would say uh, by 2050 uh, we possibly won't have any, any natural forest uh, remaining in this country. Now the proposed government's move to give part of Mabira to grow sugar cane in order to curb the sugar crisis is raising eyebrows of many people, including the students of Makere Forestry Department. If they are saying Mabira must go, then with the conservationists, we are also saying the forest should stay. One way is man said that our lives begin to rot, begin to die and rot the moment we keep quiet on the things that matter. Some other sectors of people are saying they are ready for Mabira war. What is taking place? Are we turning Uganda into a mafia ground? As for solutions to sugar production and alternatives to Mabira, the example of Swaziland is given. The country is three times smaller than Uganda, but the third largest sugar producer in Africa. Lecturers claim that in Uganda, the land is not the main problem, but an old type of sugar cane still grown here, and if improved, it can enormously boost sugar production, and this has been passed on to their students. One of the reasons Meta gave for their poor production was the long drought. Cutting down Mabira is going to just intensify their problem. The solution is irrigation and coming up with better crop varieties. Also shifting emphasis to the outgrowers, who still contribute about 30% of sugarcane production, is another alternative to Mabira. There are people who are willing to do that, but they are not being guided upon the reality on the ground. Last year, uh, December uh, to, to, to February, I think we all noticed a severe dry season. And this is not by chance or by mistake. I think we have to think twice before we take any, any action on uh, giving away Mabira. The president should know that by protecting Mabira, you are guaranteeing the convectional rains. This rain is in the end will guarantee the water table. The water table will guarantee the flow of water on the Nile. This is the second time that Mabira issue is becoming contentious after the president stated he will not be deterred from giving out Mabira to solve the sugar problem. But the message from the environmentalists is loud and clear. Ugandans might enjoy the low prices, but will pay a heavy price as the effects of climate change begin to bite. Research indicates that 1.5 acres of natural forest is lost every second around the world to deforestation, thus exposing developing and developed countries to dire environmental consequences. It is also estimated that 50,000 animal and plant species are lost to deforestation. Uganda has got 1.3 hectares of natural forest, but the researchers say that in 50 years to come, 1 million hectares will have been lost to deforestation, thus a big challenge to government to make sure that that doesn't happen. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV, Kampala.